Hillary Dallenberg is back from the Dallenberg team. Happy New Year. Good to Happy see you. Happy New Year. Thanks, Betsy. Yeah. Nice to be here. Yeah. So, as it always is with the first of the year, we yes. get, you know, colors of the year and trends of the year yes. and all these things of the year. So, what is going out on? Out with the old. Yeah, out with the old and in with new interior decorating trends. So, what That's are right. they this year? Okay. Well, something that um, our grandmothers are going to be really happy to hear is that fast furniture is out. So I was reading this um, article in the Wall Street Journal and they said, you know, nobody wants to inherit your Ikea coffee table. <laughs> and it's How true. true. That is right? very true. You know, right. I, I have a, a kitchen table in my kitchen that is, you know, 80 years old, but right. certainly that Ikea coffee table wouldn't hold up. So sure. um, a move back toward um, more important pieces, okay. um, more sustainable furniture. And I think this comes around from a couple of things. It's just a natural backlash, right, against sure. being able to have access to all the cheap, easy, fast furniture. Right. Um, but it's also an environmental concern. You know, right. all of these pieces that are made out of press board and the chemicals that are in them, and then we toss them away and we have to replace them in a few years. Right. Not environmentally conscious. Clear. Early. That table that goes from generation to generation, right. much better deal for everybody involved. Right. So right. Um, we're seeing a move toward, you know, maybe really saving up and investing in the beautiful dresser or the beautiful bed or the beautiful dining room table. And that is a trend that I really, I can get into. Yeah, I, like I can too. I love that because, you know, yeah. there's stories that go behind those pieces, the generation after generation. Mm -hmm. I think that's, I have pieces from my grandparents in my house. So That's right. Yeah. Even so. the Queen Anne leg yeah. is coming back. So that leads me to another trend if you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. The rigid like linearity of everything, mm -hmm. gone. Okay. So think um, your restoration hard, you know, the phone book that comes in your mailbox with yes. all that gray furniture and everything. Right. So it's everything so linear or like the pottery barn with the track arms and then the rectangular table. There's a there's a move toward curves again. Okay. So, so we're maybe things. yeah, maybe the camelback sofa, maybe the cabriolet leg, um, maybe the oval coffee okay. table. Okay. Um, I have an oval dining room table. I love it. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I um, interesting. Yeah, I'm excited about that. And then there's also just a shift kind of in general toward not so much the minimalism that Scandinavian look or that maximalism that's come out that everybody's like, oh my God, it looks so fabulous, but it's kind of hard to live in. Right. Like you can't live in peacock and turquoise and Fuchsia, you know, like all the time, right. it's just too much. <laughs> right. um, so there's like this happy medium, yeah. which I think we've always called eclectic. Right. Right. And right. I think it's the way a lot of us live anyway, anyway but now right. we have like this little permission. But now we're 20. Now yeah. we're 20. <laughs> I love that. We're finally in fashion. That's right. <laughs> totally in fashion. That's great. So you can have your great orientals on top of your lighter floors with your grandmother's dining room table. Excellent. On top of love that. Yeah. I love, I love that. So if somebody is thinking about selling and, you know, yes. thinking about how to make their house look fresh and again, oh. maybe on trend, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about what they should do. And I know that sometimes people are a little resistant to some suggestions. I've never I've never had a client like that. Oh, of course not. <laughs> but tell me what happens when they give in to your suggestions. Their house sells. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's happened a couple of times just in the last few months where, you know, I, as the as the sort of marketing arm of, of our business, will go in and um, I offer staging tips or I do it myself if, if I'm given permission to. Um, and, you know, a lot of times people have lived in their homes for many, many years and they're, they're very... Um, comfortable right. with the way that it is. Um, sometimes just a little tweak here or there, clearing out a room, setting it up differently, we can allow that buyer to see it in today's perspective, the way right. that they would use the home, and it gives them permission to feel comfortable in the house and maybe buy it. I've had that happen a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, they can really visualize themselves in the yes. home when it's cleared out of some yeah. of the old. Yeah. So I, a tip for the seller would just, I think, be maybe Remove, remove yourself a little bit emotionally from your decorating. Always hard to do. Um, Very hard to do. Well, but I should important. say for some people, other people are completely yeah. cool with it and, right. and, and fine, you know, and they recognize that this is just the means to an end. Sure. Right? We want to sell our house. Let's do what it takes to get there. Um, and other people, it, it takes a little, a little more. So I would yeah. say, you know, take those suggestions to heart, maybe even write them down, sleep on them a few nights, but do them sooner rather than later if you have the heart to do them. Yeah, excellent. Well, you always give such great information, and it's good to see you. Thanks Thank for being you, with Betsy. us. Nice to see, see you too. See you next time.